All right. Joe vs. Jamubi. The legendary T.O. Darby. Incineroar vs. Corrin. As normal as ever. And this is game one. And Jamubi is winning. I actually don't know anything about their set record. I think it's quite back and forth. I also think that last tea time, Jamubi got second place. So he won the last time. Yeah. Interesting. So Joel was winning and now Jamubi's winning. And Jamubi's winning this one too. But who knows? Jamubi just alive by the skin of his teeth right now. 146. Got revenge on. Doesn't have it anymore, but I think he'll be happy with that 74% of extra credit he's got wrecked up right now. Trying to try catch Nutri up. He had the right idea, but just timing it. Joel delaying Nutri up a little bit. And um, now he's still alive. Oh, but he didn't expect that one. That was fast. And 100% uh, in the corner versus Incineroar. The air dodge is caught. The shield is caught. You know, I, I think I've been in better situations. Uh, but again, the kind of panicky return to center just caught out by Jamubi there as he succeeds in taking that first game. And uh, the band's coming out too. Where is Joel going to take us? Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, that was a uh, pretty pretty nice stuff from Jamubi there. Pretty clean, pretty clean. And uh, he's going to try and make it a 2 0, I suppose. Gonna have to see what happens in this next game. Because both these characters, I mean, I want to say Corrin wins this matchup, but Incineroar has all the tools to deal with Corrin. Like, Incineroar has these disjoints, has the ways to catch landings, has ways to call out jumps. Incineroar is really good at calling out jumps. And Corrin is just all about jumping. So you feel like he's really able to kind of nullify that those full hop and short aerials with the, the up air and forward air of his own, which are fantastic, you know, air to airs and anti airs, uh, respectively. But Joel right now, uh, you know, perhaps showing why Corrin is a bit higher on the tier list because he is winning this game too. He is ahead. Will he keep it? Ooh, again, trying to catch the roll. Bad spacing is going to cost you in this matchup, man. Like, characters like Incineroar isn't great at zone breaking, just so slow. Look at, like, look at that. Like, Incineroar has the advantage, and Joel just air dodges away, and it's kind of a struggle for Incineroar to actually punish him. Like, really is important you're spacing everything. That is a lovely mix-up, actually. I love that. That catches basically everything. That catches jump, that catches neutral gap, that catches roll. Uh, might not catch jump, depending on the timing of the jump. Kind of RNG. But that is a sick mix-up. And um, deservedly taking that first stock. As Joel here, just trying to extend that lead, get some extra creditos. The Tomahawk is clean. You see him lean back in his chair. He's tense. He's fighting Incineroar. I don't blame him. I'd be shook too. But staying alive, taking it slow, slowing things down, rolling again, but not getting caught. Jumping out the corner this time, that's nice, nice to see. You know, he was getting caught for shielding and rolling before, so Joel perhaps adapting a bit, getting this percent on the board, 52, but he's trying to take it even higher right now. Weaving around that Incineroar up air as Jamubi's just unable to find a single hit. And again, the mix-up, but either decent STI or just falling out or something. Solid drift there as well, and a bit of spaghetti, but he got there in the end. And uh, Jamubi firing back with that board air. Calling the jump out of the corner this time. Nice adaptation. And a, now Joel calling out the spot dodge. This is some nice, nice game right now. These guys want each other dead. Oh my word. And both of these players uh, seeded. Well, I don't know what this. I think they're seeded second and fourth today, but definitely in contention for that top three for the podium. And they they're gonna fight for it. But. The roll coming out from Joel. Nice reaction to that F smash. Uh, again, building this lead. Both players just throw it of seeds. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess it, it, they the seeds do nothing. Like, they it formally has seeds, but it's not like the seeds actually contribute towards anything, I suppose. But, like, I think on the bracket, like, Joel was seeded second and Jimmy was seeded fourth. But again, it, it doesn't actually matter, does it? Like, like you say. Anyway, Jamubi closing the gap a little bit here. 
47%, not that bad. I've seen Incineroar do more than that in a single move, so I'm sure he can't be that upset. He's going to see if he can get any revenge, though, if he wants to accomplish such a feat. Revenge is such a core move to Incineroar's game plan. Nice reaction on that jump there, trying to extend his advantage. Ooh, calling out the jump again, but not com committing to it. Calling out the jump there, covering the jump, you know, obviously uh, stopping him shielding, then saying, you know what, if you're going to jump two, it will get caught. And <laughs> uh, the, the Saibi comes up, and now Jabubi has the lead. Oh, that might cost you. It didn't. He waits for the patience, and Joel does not panic and survives. And oh my god, this is intense. Can Joel seal this game too? He's leaning forward in his chair. Will he secure it? Or is Jamubi going to shut him down? Nice dash attack. Just stopping that walling there. Any chance? The patience from Jamubi. He's waiting for that reversal. He goes for the jump in there into the shield. That's the worst thing to do versus Cinderor. Fix up. But anyway, he gets another chance at life. Barely living that. Calling out the jump. Hard. But sour spot for his troubles. Calling out the roll again. Oh my god, Jamubi's just in Joel's head. And that's a 2-0 to Jamubi.